On the Circuit Python Parsec today, I want to show you how we can create a module for characters that we will then display on a matrix backpack display. So the one I'm using here, it's one I've used before, it's the 8x8 bi-color LED matrix. It has 8x8 eight eight of these nice square LED pixels. They are bi-color, so they can each display red, green, or the combined, which gives us kind of an ambery orange, not quite yellow. Uh, and I'm running it off of a little Cutie Pie RP2040 here. You can see my code here starts out similar to other matrix backpack code I've done. I'm importing the Adafruit HT16K33 matrix as the 8x8x2 eight by eight by matrix. Two refers to the color, the two color LED per position. And you can see this right here, this is new, what's this? From matrix chars, characters, import chars. That is a separate file I've set up that has essentially my font that I want to use. I've got uppercase characters, lowercase characters, and some numbers and just a few symbols. One thing you may notice is they're all backwards. So if you look at, there's an E, there's an F, those are all appearing backwards. And that's just because the ordering of the bits on the message that goes to the backpack is backwards. This, this uh, backpack has left to right 76543210. So my font is one place you could do this. You could, you could do it in code as well, but I set the font up this way backwards. Uh, so I import that whole chunk there so that it's not inside of my code. I kind of want it as the separate little module that I can use to go and grab characters when I want to display them. Uh, then I'm setting up this backpack display over I square C and I have some functions here. One is display character and what this does is it asks for a character, so whatever you put inside of your string uh, quotes of a letter or a number or a punctuation, a color for the character and a color for the background of the thing. And this just displays one character at a time and then we can sort of string those those together. Uh, and I do a little bit of pattern recognition to see if we're dealing with uppercase characters, lowercase characters, and then we pull in these little uh, bytes, byte arrays of the LEDs that we want to light up and the ones that we want to light up with the background color or off. Uh, so we can start off with a little test. I'm just going to uncomment this and hit save. And what you'll see here is we're just going to run through all of our letters with a little, little display uh, sorry, with a little bit of a delay in between. And this is just grabbing that set of messages from my module over there off to the side, the matrix chars module. Uh, and then once we get through all the uppercase, we can go to lowercase. I think I changed the color on here. Actually, green is a lot easier to see on this camera. The, the red is just quite a bit brighter and, uh, and a little harder to capture with this one. So green is a bit better. Uh, it's a nice size display, which means that I was able to do some things like uh, descenders that go below the letter. Uh, I am not quite monospaced. I decided to use the extra, a little bit of extra space on letters M and W because they look pretty cramped uh, if we, if we keep them constrained to the same size as the others. Uh, so that's the set of numbers and letters there and some, uh, some character, uh, I think I just have, what, no punctuation there? Okay, we'll see some in a second. In my main loop here, what I'm gonna do is I've created a couple of little uh, bits of logic to run through and grab whatever letters I have in my quotes and display those one at a time again with a small display. So calling that display char, uh, I'm setting the first word there to high and the second word to Lars. Uh, and I can change the colors. That's why I set these as two different ones. So if I want to check out that uh, sort of amber color here, hi. And uh, maybe we want to do a background BG color equals, uh, let's put that in green. How about that'll be incredibly illegible, but whoa, hey, oh, and then Lars. So this is one way that you can use a separate module for a matrix font inside of CircuitPython, and that is your CircuitPython Parsec.